A recent wave of anti-tech backlash against the largest U.S. tech companies, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google, has sparked a national debate over competition in the digital marketplace. Do modern tech giants have a disproportionate amount of market power and control? How should the government regulate them through antitrust laws? History provides an interesting lens to view these questions. Remember Polaroid and Kodak? These companies once had a stranglehold on the instant photography market. By 2012, both had gone bankrupt because of the advent of digital photography. Remember renting a DVD or VHS tape from Blockbuster or Hollywood Video Store? Today, that ritual seems antiquated, yet millions of people did it every week. But then a giant wave of creative destruction came, first in the form of online rentals by mail, and then instantaneous video streaming via high-speed broadband networks and dozens of video streaming platforms. Just a decade ago, the smartphone sector was ruled by big dogs like Motorola, Nokia, Palm, and BlackBerry. Before 2007, no one in the sector gave computer companies like Apple and Google much of a thought. Then came the iPhone and the Android operating system. Within a few short years, Google and Apple had almost totally displaced the old phone giants. Similarly, in early 2000s, supposedly unassailable digital platforms like AOL and MySpace could not stop their markets from being quickly devoured by newer social media platforms. These once mighty tech firms could not avoid joining what the New York Times once called the Hall of Fallen Giants. Creative destruction is the new normal in our modern global economy. Innovators seem to constantly come out of nowhere to displace yesterday's giants, only to immediately face threats of their own from other scrappy upstarts. To survive, even the most successful companies have to be willing to quickly dispense with yesterday's winning business plan before it is obliterated by the steamroller of relentless technological change and rapidly shifting consumer demand. Surprises are always right around the corner. Therefore, many argue that antitrust should not be premised on static thinking about past or even present markets. No one can predict the future. The giants of today could soon join the blockbusters and MySpaces of yesterday. Policymakers should craft regulations with care and humility. Is the market or are regulators better at displacing entrenched interests and anti-competitive practices? How can antitrust laws balance solving today's competitiveness problems with creating possibility for more innovation in the future? 